Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Today we're going to do a taste test. I'm going to try to do it as a blind taste test. I, I, it's going to be really hard to do it as a blind taste test. Um, essentially what I want to do is I want to kind of do a spam off. And so <laughs> I guess what I mean by spam off is that um, um, I, this is the reason I want to do it. I've been looking for this particular product for a while. So this is uh, Omni Pork. It's called Omni Pork Luncheon. And this comes from Asia. So it's been out from Asia for well over a year, probably a year and a half, maybe even close to two years it's been available in Asia. Has not been available in the United States. I contacted the company and tried to find out when it would be available in the United States. Well, about two months ago, uh, I got an email saying, hey, it's now available in Whole Foods and Sprouts Farmer's Market. So I headed out to Sprouts Farmer's Market to try to find it. So I asked, at least five people in the store. Do you have Omni Pork? Where do you have Omni Pork? Um, I, I don't know. I never heard of it. Check the meat department. Oh, I don't ever heard of it. Is it vegan? And I said yes. Uh, they check the vegan uh, freezer section. Whatever. They brought me all over the way. five people. Nobody knew what it was. Came in a second time. And I, so I contacted them, and they said, "Yeah, it's available at Sprouts." So I contacted them, and uh, they said, "Yeah, it's available at Sprouts. Go check it out." So I went back to Sprouts, checked it out again. Um, again, asked uh, three different people. Nope, never heard of it. I don't know what it is. Somebody looked it up on the internet. Oh, okay, that looks really interesting. Yeah, no, I haven't seen it. I don't think we have it. Um, got in touch with Sprouts, and they said, oh, well, really sorry about that. So I don't know. We'll talk to the people at the store and try to figure out what's going on. Okay, great. So, um, so then I went back to the store and I go, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to look for it myself. So I went through every one of the uh, the shelves where it might it might have been in a packet in a thing like spam. Nothing there. Uh, then I went into the frozen veg, uh, uh, vegan stuff, and there it was, Omni Pork. So they didn't even know they had it. It had been singing the whole time. So I sent back a letter to them, going, "Dudes, get your act together, because you've had it for a while. You have, nobody in the store knows that you have it. Figure it out." So anyway, so this is from Asia, and it is a plant-based. Uh, they call it plant-based meat-style luncheon. So it is a plant-based version of spam. Now. Um, I kind of wanted to do a spam off, so I wanted to take to taste test it against spam. Um, in this particular case, I use spam light only because it's less sodium, um, and um, I just think it's maybe better for you. I, I don't know how different the taste is going to be and everything. I guess maybe it's going to be the control, but I'm trying to blind test, so I've, I basically mix these up so I don't know you know what they are. I put the numbers on the bottom of the uh, plates which correspond to the numbers on the bottom of the can. I don't know which one's in front of which one and everything. I'm just gonna taste test them and see. The, um, the third one that we're gonna do is uh, Celebrity Luncheon Loaf. Now this, this is a staple at your dollar store. So this is not gonna cost you more than a dollar. Almost every dollar store has it. This was done on Old Guy in Colorado. Tom uh, did this luncheon loaf. I think he just sliced it and ate it. I don't think he cooked it. Um, which which I, I thought about doing. Uh, he just sliced it and ate it. He did not grill it. Um, and uh, he said it was horrible, terrible. It, he got it at the dollar store. It was a dollar. Uh, I'm not surprised. But we're going to try that anyways just to kind of like uh, see what that's like. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a slice uncooked and a slice cooked. Here's the weird part. This is plant-based. They tell you you have to cook it. You have to make sure it cooks all the way through. Uh, cook it on the grill and check the temperature. The internal temperature has to get past a certain amount. Why this, which is meat, I mean, granted, it's already cooked, but this is meat. This is meat. They don't tell you, you know, uh, make sure it's cooked all the way through and everything. You can eat this right out of the can. Why can't you not? Why can't you eat the plant-based one right out of the package? It just blows my mind. I don't understand it, um, but you know, it is what it is. And so I grilled all three. So I have these three in front of me. I, I don't know which one's which. I kind of have an idea um, just because of the way they're cut, but I'm going to pretend not to, and I'm just going to kind of clear my mind as I'm trying each one. So I'm going to try a piece as is, and then I'm going to do the true test, the true test of a of, of spam or a luncheon loaf or a grilled luncheon loaf, the true test, which is basically with a runny egg. So I'm going to look with a little bit of runny egg, some black pepper, and some um, Tabasco scorpion, you know, da dots of uh, uh, scorpion, uh, Tabasco scorpion hot sauce on that. That's going to be our, our main control. So um, we'll get started. And then afterwards, um, I mean, I can try to figure it out. I'm probably going to get it right. Uh, but afterwards, we'll just check. And we'll make sure uh, which one's which and we'll, we'll, we'll rate them. So uh, I'm going to start this way and work, work my way this way. So um, 
I'm going to give this one a try. Not much of a smell. That piece was cut thin and it's grilled. So it, it has a little bit of a crispy texture to it. It has that pork grease flavor. What I did was when I put it on the grill, I sprayed the grill with canola oil, uh, with a canola cooking spray. Um, just because I wanted something that was neutral in taste and it was going to impart any taste to it and everything. I mean, normally I would probably use bacon fat to grill it, but no, I want to keep, kind of keep it neutral here. That's not bad. Um, like I said, pork fat is about the only flavor in there. I don't taste any spices or anything. Um, it doesn't taste bad. Really thin and crispy. It has a nice texture, almost like bacon. It made texture, not taste. It doesn't taste like bacon at all. It's pretty good. So, let's try it with the runny egg. Because that is the true test of whether this makes a breakfast of champions. And I know what you're thinking. I'm gonna do a vegan uh, luncheon, uh, pork luncheon um, with a runny egg, but you no, know, it is what it is. It's nice texture wise, it's kind of bland. Like I said, really the only thing the only kind of pork flavor I get is like a little bit of pork fat flavor. Not bad. Um, I'm gonna give it a thumbs in the middle. It's okay. Now, I suspect that it's either the Celebrity Lunch and Love or the Spam, only because, like I said, it definitely has a pork, pork fat flavor, but you never know. So let's try number two here. Well, or the second one here. It has a little bit of a smoky smell. That texture is way off. There's no texture. It just, it, it, it like liquefies. As soon as you go to eat it, it liquefies. There's maybe a little bit of spice. It's slightly slimy. You can just, it just squishes. You know, it's grilled, you can see that, you know, it's got some, a little char to it. And it too is kind of, kind of bland flavored. Almost, it almost tastes like, when I was a kid, my mom had some bread. She didn't have any meat. She did something to the bread where she put some spices and stuff in it. She put something in it. I don't know exactly what it was, but she kind of made the bread taste like meat. And that's almost what this tastes like. Not exactly like that, her meat bread, but that's what I'm gonna call it, her meat bread. Let's see what with the egg. It has less texture than the egg.
It has none of that pork fat taste that the other one had. None at all. Wow. The egg has more texture than that does. Wow. And I was gonna say that I got a little bit of spice, but it's from the egg. <coughs> One of those dabs of the Tabasco scorpion sauce. So, we're on our last one now. Let's try this. Hmm, that's interesting. That has a much, that has a softer texture as well. It's not as almost liquefied as this one was, but it's not as firm as this one was. This one was like really firm. It had like a, almost a little bit of chewiness to it. This one falls apart readily, relatively easily. I don't get as much as a pork fat taste as I did with the first one. It has more texture than the second one. It almost, it almost tastes like, like, almost tastes like a lean ham. And there is some spiciness to it. There's more spiciness to it than I think the other two. So let's try this with the egg. That's a good combo. Def de definitely softer consistency though. Plays off the egg nice. Has a nice smell. Doesn't have like a you know rotten smell or anything like that. It's okay. Thumbs in the middle. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and rate them. I'm gonna rate this one. The first one, top number number one, this one. Um, I liked the pork fat flavor that it had, and um, I liked the smokiness. I liked the texture of it, it had like a firmer texture. I liked that one. Um, this one's gonna be number two. It played better with the egg, and it didn't have as firm a texture as this one, so you know, I wasn't crazy about the texture, as crazy about the texture of this one, but, um, but it did have uh, a, a kind of a subtle flavor. Um, it seemed to have some spice to it, so that was really nice. This one's gonna be dead last um, because it was so bland on, and also, like I said, it was almost like liquid. It just like, it just fell apart as soon as you put it in your mouth and when you put it with the egg, you you know, the egg, you like you could taste the egg, you couldn't taste whatever this was. So that's how I'm rating it. This one was number one, this one was num number two, this one was number three. Now let's see which one was which. So this is number three. And number three is spam. That's spam. So apparently I like the spam the best. Uh, this one is number one. Uh, that's the uh, Omni Pork from Omni Foods. And so this one is number two and it is the Celebrity Lunch and Love. So the order was we like the spam the best. Even the light spam, we like the spam the best. We like the celebrity luncheon, 
second and we like the Omni pork last. So sorry, uh, vegans and Somni, sorry, uh, Omni foods, but um, you know, I, you know, it's kind of like, uh, I, I have to, I, I didn't, I just wanted to taste it on its own merit and I want to give you some credit because there's no pork in it. There's no animal products in that. And, I, and so I want to give you some credit, like, like, is it at least good? Is it at least tasty? Is it at least, but, but the problem is that, that, that texture, the texture is wrong. And so if you don't have that pork flavor and the texture is wrong, then, you know, I, I suppose if you're jonesing for it and you're a vegan, and you can't eat it, that it's probably a good substitute for you. It's, you know, it's better than some of the, the uh, canned luncheon meats I've had, but but that's not saying much. Um, so, you know, did want to try it and we did try it. Um, like I said, if you're a vegan, you'll love, you'll probably love it. If you're a vegan that used to eat meat, you'll probably love it. For me, the texture, I wasn't crazy about. Um, and so good old spam, one in the long run, so. Uh, anyways, uh, you can try this yourself if you want to get the Omni pork. I know for a fact that the only place in the United States where they sell it is every Sprouts uh, farmer's market store and, and select Whole Foods. So you can get out there and try it, but if you get out there to try it, please be careful because it's crazy out there. Take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.